Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I'm going to do a video on SPAN, which is a free uh, spectrum analyzer VST. In fact, it's one of the better free VSTs that you can get. There's also a plus version of this now, which just came out a few months ago in February. Uh, but before that, there was only the free version, and the free version does most of the stuff that you would want to do. The plus version has a few extra features, uh, so I'd recommend checking out the free version first. Uh, I will show you a few of the things that the um, plus version can do later in this video, but for now, let's get started with SPAN, how to use it, what it shows us. It's a spectrum analyzer, so it shows us what areas of the spectrum uh, the sound is 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 uh, in or or what frequencies that each instrument or the entire mix uh, is occupying. Uh, so let's take a look at this. I'm doing this in FL Studio. This is, VST will work in any DAW that accepts VSTs. So we have this is the equalizer right here. Here's the master mix right here, and um, this this has like the, this is the master uh, mix track, so it has all of the other tracks going through it. But in FL Studio, there's this track here, uh, which some people don't know about. It's it's the uh, it's the current track, and when I have any plugin I put in this, uh, whether it's a meter or it's an effect or whatever, will will show up if I select a particular track. So so. I have span in each one of these. So the master one shows me the full thing and the current one will show me whatever track that I select. The advantage of that is I don't have to put the VST in every track and take up um, processing time in, in time just to set it up in each track. So uh, that's a very nice feature. You can put it in any track you want as well. And so you can use it however you want. If there's a particular track that you just want to be able to see the display of all the time without having to, to select that track to see it, then you can do that as well. So it's it's you can use it in very flexible ways, in other words. So let's go to the master track and bring up span right here. And I'm gonna turn on the song here in the background. And let's uh, let's lower it. Now it's not showing us the amplitude in here, it's showing us the spectrum, so even though I'm lowering this, even st it still looks the same because it's, it's just showing us the frequencies. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the color here and I'm going to change this to, say, blue. Now I'm going to go over to the current track and I am going to bring up span right here. I'm going to change this color to red. And so we know uh, which spectrum analyzer is which uh, because of the colors. It makes it easier, particularly if you're moving the windows around. It does say up at the top, you can see up here it says master, it says current. It will tell you what the track name is up there. Uh, so I'm going to select the bass track down here on the equalizer. And you can see that the uh, lower frequencies down towards this end are the main ones because it's a base. That's the area of the spectrum that it kind of lays in. And right up here, there's some, we're getting some frequencies that are actually higher up and some harmonics and stuff. So I'm gonna go over here to, the, we're in the bass track, I'm gonna bring up an equalizer here. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the high pass filter. And the uh, well, thing we need to do is turn on the EQ. So as we move the high pass filter around, you can see that it, it affects uh, where the bass is coming in. And so it cuts off some of these frequencies that are lower that you wouldn't be able to hear. And um, so I'm gonna put a high pass filter on too. Or not a high pass, I'm gonna put a uh, low pass filter on.
and we can bring this down as well and cut off some of those upper ranges so we can shape this however we want. You, you want to listen to it as well and you may want to solo the track and listen to the way the sound is of course because you want it to sound good you don't want it on it not to sound good but you can actually see the areas that you you may want to focus on so it gives you another way to, to help you uh, basically visualize and see things that you may, may be harder to hear or that you might not hear but they can interfere with other um, portions of the uh, song or other tracks of the song because different uh, instruments and vocals lay in different ranges of the spectrum so it, it's just a tool that you can use to see that and so we can go like for instance to the kick and see where the kick is you see the kick is down here lower on um, and it goes up now one of the advantages to the full version or the uh, plus version of span is you can actually overlay both of these uh, screens on each other instead of just having them side by side so you can see where uh, each um, instrument lays in the spectrum right overlaid over each other so that that's a version or that's a, an advantage of it another advantage of span plus is that you can actually save um, a uh, uh, PNG file, an image file of these spectrums for later reference. Uh, so this is one advantage of, 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 of the uh, program. We can see where things lay. Now, to give you an example, I can switch here to the strings and let's turn the strings on. The strings were off. You can see that this occupies this, this, this middle region here and it kind of spikes up in areas. So there are like gaps of where there's like no sound, no frequency being used with, with the strings here, which is interesting. So you can see how that interplays with other, other things. We're going to turn that off now. And you see the, the peaks that were in the center get knocked out. So that, that's kind of the, it shows you the area where, where, where that's coming up through the mix. I'm going to turn on the synth here, select the synth track. And this particular synth here, you can see it just fills up the entire spectrum here and this is an interesting thing that we can do because if we go over let me bring up serum here so if we bring up serum which is the uh, synth I'm using in this I can actually change uh, the uh, the uh, synth sound on here and we can see where it falls or, and how, how it, it, it what what the actual spectrum looks like in it and so uh, if we pick certain things you'll see that here we have uh, the ranges are changing there's some areas where there are gaps in it um, we go here to uh, what is it? This I think this is this range is, is more more towards the base and up towards the middle some here. So you can see how the wave changes on here, and you can actually use this to help you uh, pick what what synth sound, for example, that you want to do, or it can help you to model the sound as well. And so uh, that is an advantage of this, and that's the usefulness of this tool, is to be able to see where things fall in the spectrum, to give you a visual of, of where they fall and where there may be problems. For instance, if you're just looking at the entire mix, you may not be sure where the sound is coming from that's interfering with one instrument or another but because we can go to each of these different tracks and just kind of uh, see where they fall we can see where the problem is much easier all right so now another thing that you can do with span is 
like with anything, like with an oscilloscope or entering sort of visual metering like this, there are things you can change about the way the display uh, or the, the way the uh, spectrum analyzer displays the waves. If we go up here to this uh, little gear here, this is the um, this is uh, the settings for this. And uh, one thing to be aware of is that you can go in here. There's a option here called smooth. Now, if you look over here, you can see on uh, this we have the strings track highlighted, and you can see it shows all these different harmonic peaks. But we can smooth this off. So if we go to the sixth of an octave it kind of averages everything out and it doesn't show as much detail let's go over here to this we can have separate settings for each of these windows too so let's move all of this too and uh, so a lot of times by smoothing it off it can, can show you an average and a trend a little better you may not want to be looking at all of the peaks Turning that off will let you find certain areas in that you may want to kind of selectively cut out or maybe causing a problem. So this is something that you can actually mess around with uh, and you can mess around with uh, the different uh, frequency ranges it's looking at and such. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind with this plugin that you, you can mess with that. But to me, the smoothing is the most uh, useful thing uh, on this to smooth it off a little bit so that there aren't as many uh, specific peaks in that so turning that on and off can be helpful another thing we can do is we can go up here and we can go hold so we can hold where uh, basically it's like a snapshot of, of what it looks like and we, and we can we can look at that we can turn that back off again. There are also some presets up here that are useful. If we go to presets, for instance, we can look at the mid and sides stereo, and it does a, a comparison of those ways. We can one that's really nice is the average and the max. If we activate that, this shows us the lower one is is, is the average, and the max is this upper one and so it shows you where the max levels are and where the average levels are falling that that's a very nice one to look at as as well so um, those are some things there's some presets and you can save your own presets if you you, you uh, mess around with this and uh, discover a certain level that, or a certain way that you like to visualize the spectrum so that's that's pretty much uh, the overall view of this uh, span plus there's a few extra things like I mentioned you can uh, save a picture of the spectrum you can uh, overlay different spectrums on each other so that we could see both of these spectrums at the same time so this red would be over here so we could see exactly where it where it fell at the exact same time and, and it's very similar to what we're looking at here where it's showing us the maximum and the minimum what we're seeing just a second image up there so we can overlay the images in other words and uh, so those are some of the extra bonuses of buying the plus version uh, you might not find that necessary or as useful so it's something to consider you can also get a demo version of the plus uh, and take a look at that and see if, it, if the, you really think those extra features are worth it I'm Mungo Dark Manor and this has been Dark Manor's Whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.